Hey all, Dan here with Periodic Audio, and today we're talking about measurements uh, in our measurement series, item number four, the transducer interface. Um, it's basically what we use to connect all the amplifier, uh, you know, it's got built-in amplifiers, it's got the microphones, things like that, that we connect to the anechoic chamber that's located in front of me. It's actually behind you. I'm staring at it. So here in my little, you know, work corner, woohoo, you know, with all my cables, my other gear, stuff like that. So today, without much further ado, I'm going to go into what we use for our microphone interface. Uh, so the, 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 the third part of hardware, the fourth in the video series about how we measure equipment. So uh, without further ado, check that out. Magic. You push a button and things switch around. So we've already covered this thing. That's the audio precision itself. That's the big boy. And this is the digital filter. So this is the one that does all the, the signal processing and, you know, generates some outputs, takes in some inputs. Here I got it wired up. Uh, it's got some digital interface, things like that. So this is basically works with the software to do all the, the special processing. This filter here is for removing uh, high frequency noise when you're doing like switch mode power supplies or switching amplifiers, things like that. This is what we're talking about today. It's again, it's from Audio Precision and it is the 1701 transducer test interface. Pretty cool, right? So we just kind of go from left to right. So obviously it's got a power on off switch. It's got outputs. This thing actually has a two by 100 watt amplifier built into it. Uh, it's a Neutrik four pole connector. So it's got, you know, left and right, positive, left and right, mount, negative there. Inputs for the amplifier as well. Boom, so you could do there, there. It means I could jump really easy from here down to there and I can feed any kind of signals I want. So I got a high quality amp. I also have a rack of um, amplifiers that I'll show you in a, uh, uh, in a later video. Um, when I'm doing like multiple channels of things, it's a serious development, but that kind of thing. Next, this is probably one of the most parts I use the most, which is my microphone. Um, here I've got a balanced input already. We have a wire uh, cable that's constantly wired into the anechoic chamber that I can just plug in uh, for my balanced mics. If I have something additional, I can also use some unbalanced ones for some CCWs, but I don't have any mics in that work that way. They're all phantom powered, not, not a 20 milliamp. Powered. So left and right, if you want to, two channels, two channel input as well. And in the software, you can select, do I want to look at the balanced inputs? Do I want to look at the unbalanced inputs? Do I want to turn on phantom power or not? Do I want to turn on, on constant current or not? This is the microphone outputs. Oh, this little guy here. This is make sure that everything's connected to the same ground reference. So they're all kind of the same. So it reduces noise. That's what that's for. This is the outputs, the microphone outputs. They're balanced only, uh, left and right. So it's going to route either these guys or these guys to this, depending on what I want to do with the software. They go on up. Boom, guess what? They go to the analog inputs. These are pretty much the only thing I ever put in the in the balanced inputs are my microphones. Everything else is unbalanced, so it's real easy to leave it there. Then we have current sense. So if I'm like measuring a mic, uh, measuring a speaker, I want to know the impedance of it or sweeps, things like that, I can use this to current sense. So that's what this guy does. He basically allows me to connect all my microphones. Uh, I can also power other things out, um, um, you know, my microphone in my chamber, uh, things like that. I can do stuff here with like microphone measurement. Uh, my head, you'll be looking at that later. Uh, my Chucky, you got uh, speaker outputs, things like that. So that's what this is. So that's the rack of gear. Main measurement box. Filter, transducer interface. That's kind of how they all come down. That's what we got here from um, uh, analog uh, and audio precision. It's all pretty much uh, good gear. It's what you would find in any high-end uh, measurement shop or, or measurement research lab anywhere. It's kind of what we use. Uh, makes us a little different. A lot of people don't invest in this kind of gear. Uh, this is not cheap, um, but it's kind of, you know, it, it's what we need to do to do what we got to do. So anyway, so that's it for today. I'll be recording the next video as well. It'll be series number five of the series, right? There you go, Ooh, number five. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about the microphones that I tend to use. There's three basic microphone sets that I use. Uh, and so we'll be covering that. Anyway, there you go. Dan Wiggins, Periodic Audio. If you want some really kick-ass audio gear, check our stuff out. Our IEMs rock. Our little portable DACs are awesome. Uh, our Bluetooth adapter, Neon, freaking awesome. Two devices at one time. Sounds great. Tons of power. Uh, check us out, periodicaudio.com. See you all later. Bye.